The question I will get from people is, so during the show, Bob loved that song, but just couldn't think of where, why wouldn't he sign it and try and deal with it later? And I'm gonna answer this for him because I know what a spectacularly good person he is and business person. Is he won't sign something unless he thinks he can make that person money. He doesn't want to take them off the market from other opportunities That's right. if he doesn't feel that he can help them. That's right. I, I've actually gotten a phone call from him where he said, I got something from you guys that's not right for our clients and our catalog, but I think it would work for this other guy's client list. Can I get his number from you so I can call him and turn him on to it? Yeah. Which I thought was super menschy of you. Well, you know, and I've done this where... Um, uh, there's been some people that should will stay unnamed, but you know I've got you know I've got like a, a fair amount of music from some people, and I'm like you know I love your music, but I think you should maybe you know this is where Spread I think I'm a, yeah that's uh, you know that's what I'm about. Now I've talked to other publishers, they're like you're crazy, <laughs> you're crazy. You get somebody who's great, you hang on to them, and I'm like yeah, but you know what I've got this great body of music. Can I doesn't mean I can't get more from them. But I've tried to hook some of these guys up with other companies I've met on taxi panels, you know, on listening right. sessions. Yeah. I'll pick up the phone or call you or go, can I get this person's number because I think they might benefit from this. Absolutely. You know, and not, not only that, but other publishers know clients that I don't know. Oh, that's an important point. And I do want to get back to listening mu to music quickly, but um, is it a fair statement to say that Not every library is right for you or music if you're a songwriter or a composer um, that you don't want to just get into a library. You want to get into the right library or libraries because I of think, their, their client list. Well, that's that's another thing. Uh, I highly encourage people, and my client list is spewing all across my website. Oh, you don't know who I am, though. That's but right. um, We're going to make them wear a paper bag with cutouts. There you go. But... Uh, Point being, whoever you're going to as a publisher or, you know, or, or if Taxi forwards you and uh, that publisher reaches out, you want to figure out who their client list is. You want to see their client list. Mine's all over my website. At least the, the and, and most people have, you know, um, logos of shows and networks on their website these days. Yeah, the, the problem is, is we're not getting people to pay attention necessarily to it. So they're like, hey, can, you know, can you use X, Y, and Z? And I've I'm got like, the best Calliope music ever. Right. Well, you know, I've done okay with Calliope music. You know? <laughs> and some of those are taxi riders, let me tell you. Uh, I won't name names, but you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Calliope Bill. Yeah, I'm telling you. No, it's it's funny. Um, it, it, it's funny. It's a... Uh, 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 there's a lot of publishers out there. Some are, some are bigger in the trailer world. Some are bigger in the ad world. Some are bigger in the uh, film and TV space. Um, and you want to pay attention to that. And if you're writing trailer music, pay attention to who's getting you know promos and trailers. If you're you know, if you're writing uh, dare I say ukulele music, still getting requests for that. I, I hear it's going to go away. Um, I, I I I stopped signing that stuff a while back. I figured this is not going to last, but it keeps going. Yeah. 